Fremont's police chief is putting new policies in place after one of his officers arrested the wrong man. Officer Chevy Farmer was suspended without pay for three days. The police chief now speaking out. 13 Action News reporter Alexis Means has the story. The police chief says the officer feels horrible. He's also reminding his officers to take an extra 15 seconds when checking information while investigating a case. I'm of course disappointed that uh, we didn't live up to the standards uh, that our community expects us to. Fremont's police chief apologized to the community after business owner Darnell McLeod was wrongfully arrested on a drug trafficking warrant. We can't do this alone. We need community support. Uh, with the community support, we are exponentially better at doing our job as police officers. We've been talking amongst ourselves on, on ways we can do better. And it's not just with interactions like this. It's, there's, there's other things that we can do better. He says there is training in place and procedures officers should follow when arresting someone on a warrant. How long does it take? What's your birthday? What's the last four numbers of your social security number? What's your home address? What's the address on your license? I mean, me, I'm just saying that out loud right here. And there are some protocols that we are talking about putting in place for every time even those times that officers don't think they need it. Officer Chevy Farmer was given a three-day suspension without pay for failing to confirm the identity of a person he arrested. Darnell McLeod spent nearly a half an hour at the jail. It was a jail employee who recognized the officer arrested the wrong guy. What's your whole name? My name is Mrs. McLeod. My name is Darnell McLeod. The police chief is reviewing past warrant arrests. This is not a chronic issue. Part of the review that we have done internally is we're just looking back in through our records to make sure uh, that we did good jobs and the other warrants uh, that we executed. And he's reminding his officers. When we do these jobs, all of them, we need to do them well and we need to live up the expectation of our community and the rules that we have as a, as a police department. Reporting from Fremont, Alexis Means, 13 Action News. And as